Hey, what is up everyone, Norman from Future Studio University here, and welcome to our first video in our Picasso series. Modern Android apps need to look nice and feel nice to be successful in the competitive world of the Google Play right now. Images are an important aspect of making your app extraordinary. Unfortunately, loading images on Android is surprisingly difficult. Now you have to deal with network requests, you have to deal with background threads, you have to implement caching if you want to have an efficient image loader, and you also need to do the decoding and encoding. Android, especially with large images, is very memory inefficient, so it needs a lot of memory for a single large image. Picasso hides all of that complexity from you. So you don't need to deal with the background threading or the loading images from the internet or even the caching. It also makes it fairly memory efficient to resize and transform images. You will make your life as an Android developer much easier if you want to use Picasso in your Android app. If you want to code along, you can find the code on our website. It's the first link in the description below. Now let's jump into our project. So we will work with this example Android project for the rest of the series. And the first step you have to do when you want to work with Picasso is add it to your build dependencies. So I've already added this line here and the current version is 2.5.2. .2. And once you have added this dependency, you can sync your project and you have Picasso available. You can ignore all the other dependencies down here. We will get to them in later videos. So let's close this one. Let's jump to the activity we will use in this tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you four ways of loading images. First, by an internet URL, then by a resource ID if it's a locally available file, then a file from the device's disk, and finally from a URI, a uh, more general description of a file. Let's start with the internet URL, which is probably the most interesting for you. If you're confused by all this other stuff around here, this is just loading the image views so we can display it. So the most important part is happening in this method. Now I've already prepared a URL, which is just our university logo. So what we want to do is we want to load this image, this logo, and display it in the app. So how can you do that with Picasso? Picasso is available globally, so you can just call Picasso, and then you have the with method. And here you need to pass the context for reasons we will come back to later. But for now we can simply say context because I have to find it up here. And now the next call is the load method. And you can already see we have four parameters we can pass here. For now we want to use the, the string, which is going to be the internet URL I have just defined. So now we have Picasso loaded with a specific image, and now we want to tell Picasso where does this image go. So we're going to say it should load into, and we're going to load it into this image view internet up here. And that's it. With one line of code, you command Picasso to load this one image into this image view, and that's all you have to do. Let me show you the result. Okay, as you can see, we have the university logo loaded. Now we're working with white and transparency, so it doesn't look as nice on the grayish background. But you can see that even though it's a very large image, because I've loaded it in a matter of milliseconds, and we don't have any issues with the memory or anything like that. So it's super simple to load images with Picasso. Now what I want to show you for the rest of this video is that you also can load images from other sources. So you have already seen when I type this in that you can pass other things to the load function. So here we're passing a resource ID, which is just going to be the launcher icon of the app, which is the uh, standard thing that Android Studio generates. And this will be loaded into a different image view. Now the file is also an option. So what you can see here is I'm accessing an image in the picture directory of the device, which is just going to be a, an image of a Tesla motor. And I'm going to pass this file 
to the load function. And Picasso will load this file and display it as well. What you also could do is simply pass this path parameter. So you don't have to always get the file and then pass the file. You can also simply pass the path. That would work too. And the fourth option is by URI. So here I'm actually transforming this resource into URI and passing that URI, and that should be loaded as well. And just so you know what you should expect, it's just a launcher icon against some standard from Android Studio. So let's restart this activity and show you that it loads all four images at once, and it's super efficient doing that way. All right, you can see it already loaded some more images here. And here's the second one, here's the third one, which is a very large image, still no problem. And the fourth one is there as well. So in this video, you have seen that Picasso makes it very easy to load images. It's just a simple line of code and it will handle all of the complexity for you. You have also seen that you can load it from various sources. So it doesn't have to be in an internet URL, it can also be from the device's disk and it will still cache everything in memory and on disk. Obviously, there's a lot more to Picasso. So in future videos, we will look at a lot of different aspects of Picasso. In the next one, we will look at image resizing, scaling, and the fit function. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you being here. And give the video a thumbs up if you've learned something. Also, subscribe if you want to see more videos in this series. Enjoy coding and make it rock.